You know, when I'm throwing topwaters like the SB and the, the JT, I like to throw it using 30 pound Sunline Braid, SX1. And then I've really been using this Alamino, Defire Alamino. Um, this is a 22 pound. Obviously we're here at Toledo Bend trying to catch some big ones. So I've been using the 22 pound leader. And with the topwater, I don't really like a, a real long leader, but I'm gonna show you the knot that I like to use. It's called the Alberto knot. It's by far the best um, braid to a leader knot that I've found. And first thing you do, you take your, uh, either your, whether you're gonna use fluorocarbon or a, a nylon line like this, make a loop. You take your, uh, take your braid, go through that loop, okay? And then we're gonna wrap seven times around. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? Now we're gonna pinch it here. We're gonna pinch it and turn it around, okay? And now we're gonna wrap back towards the loop seven more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? And then we're gonna put this, this tag end through the loop the opposite way that we went in, okay? Put it through here, grab the line, wet it a little bit, and snug it down. And that's the Alberta knot. That's what I use to tie braid to fluorocarbon or to a nylon line. Um, and then just clip it off. Make sure you leave a little tag in, especially uh, when you're catching big ones, You, because the, the knot will stretch a little bit. Leave a little tag in here. And uh, what I like to do is, like I said, not too long of a leader with the top water. Do a little measuring point here. Wind it up and then go to about uh, the third guide up there. Cut it off. That leaves you enough to, because you always use a little bit when you, when you, uh, when you tie. And then uh, we're gonna tie on this big SB150. Try to get a, a giant one. Obviously this is a kind of a, a bluegill color. When connecting my line to whatever bait I'm using, whether I'm using fluorocarbon or a nylon line like this, I like using the double San Diego knot. And first thing you're gonna double it up, put it through the, the eye, double it up just like you would a polymer. Then I'm gonna come up here um, and I'm just gonna wrap it four times, okay? I'm trying not to hook myself, but we're gonna wrap it four times here. One, two, three, four. Come around here and go through the loop that you've made, okay? Come up here, get it nice and tight. Always wet your line. Tighten it down, and wherever my scissors are, here we go. Leave a little tag in, and you're gonna have a loop, so you're gonna have three tag ends. You're gonna have a loop here on the bottom and just a regular top tag end. And that's how you tie the double San Diego jam knot. You know, we just tied on this SB150. We had an absolute gigantic fish come up on the JT. The wind picked up. Um, and he missed it, never had him hooked. He just kind of pushed the bait and then like absolutely wallered on it. It was just unbelievable shot. Um, you know, I, I've never seen a seven pounder do something like that to a bait, but uh, so we picked up this SB150. We obviously, we know there's some real big ones uh, in this area. Just trying that bigger profile bait, you know, what I call drawing power. You know, we see it a lot with swim baits. You use a little six inch swim bait, you don't get any followers. You put a 10 inch swim bait on and like the whole lake follows the bait. So um, same kind of scenario with this SB150, um, trying to get draw those fish up uh, with a little bit more commotion. Um, obviously the SB has a rattle uh, and the JT doesn't. So trying to just cause some more, more commotion, trying to get a real big fish strike and uh, you know, we'll see what happens, but you know, just kind of tra cha changing up the cadence back and forth. The thing with the SB, um, I can twitch it real, real soft and, it, and it's 
a real subtle um, top water bait and then I can go and start twitching it a lot harder and get a lot more aggressive with that cup lip that the SB has. Um, the more aggressive I get with the twitches, the more water it moves and, and the more aggressive you can get um, with more of a chop or if you just want to try to draw those fish up. I think we're going to switch back to that JT. It's, uh, it's gotten real calm, a little bit more high, high skies. Still some clouds, there's gonna be some storms moving in. So, um, But first I wanted to go over this setup that I use uh, for any of the SBs, Evergreen SBs, um, from the little one all the way to this big Magnum 150. Um, and that's, uh, first of all, we'll start off with the, with the, uh, with the rod. And it's a Heraculous, it's a Evergreen rod. It's the Heraculous series. Um, it's the EG Swimming. 7.2 medium heavy um, and, and you know about the third or fourth guide from the tip has a nice soft tip um, but still has some power to it. I want it to have enough power so that you can work that bait on a real long cast um, and uh, obviously this is a graphite rod um, super high-end components Fuji components that you'll find on all Evergreen's uh, rods um, the other thing that I really like about this rod is it has a shorter handle from the actual trigger to the butt. And the reason I like that is for fishing topwater all day when you're twitching like that, um, it doesn't get caught in, in the crease of your arm here. So you can twitch it all day and, and it, it just doesn't disrupt um, your, your, the action that you, you're giving the bait. Um, just works really, really well for that. The next one is the is the reel. Obviously a Daiwa reel. This is the Zillion. Uh, it's the TWS, it's a 100 HS. Um, it's a, the Zillion, but it's a, a 7.3 to one gear ratio. This is the big full bodied one. This is not the CT. Um, and the reason for that is I like, um, I like the line capacity on this one. Uh, for casting a big, big bait like this and, and casting a long, long ways, I want to have that line capacity um, just, uh, you know, because you're, you're making long, long casts. I can cast that thing uh, a long ways. So you, you have the T-wing system, which is obviously awesome for casting long distances. Um, again, the big power handle, um, working that bait all day long, that, that handle allows you to have a lot of power to work that bait. And when you get a fish on a real long cast, I want to make sure I have a lot of torque to get them in. The 7.3 gear ratio, a lot of time I'm on that trolling motor covering a lot of water with a walking style bait. I got that Minn Kota trolling motor on like anywhere between 40 to 70 percent. And I want to have something that I can keep up with that bait while I'm going down the bank. And, and that just allows me to do that. Um, the next element to this setup is the line. Um, SX1 30 pound Sunline braid. Uh, it, it just, the, I really like the braid. You get a, long, a little farther distance out of your cast with it. Obviously you get no, uh, no line memory, so it lays real, real nice. But I do, I do like um, to put a leader on this. And I'm using the, it's the Shooter Alamino, which is a nylon line um, from Sunline. It's a, a gray in color, um, and I'm using the 22 pound this week here at Toledo Bend. Uh, you know, it, and they make a bunch of different sizes in that, and you can kind of uh, vary it depending on um, what size of fish that, that you're fishing the lake for and, and what size of bait you have. So um, I really like that 22 or 19 pound they make in, in, that, in that product. Um, and it's, uh, you know, that, that's just a really good all around topwater setup. Like I said, this is the setup that I use for all the Evergreen SBs. Um, and you know, you can always find those at Tackle Warehouse. Well, the conditions just kind of changed. It got, you know, kind of high skies, um, no wind. I'm gonna cut off this, this uh, SB 150 and uh, tie on that JT. We got about 15, 20 minutes left of the shoot today before we get on the road. But I'm going to tie this thing on. We're done. Let's see if we can catch another big one before we leave. Oh, oh, oh.
Big one on the JT. Yeah! Woo! Check that out, baby. Came up and missed it and came back and got it. They are just loving this thing. This is a badass bait. Just a badass bait, man. Super sticky hooks. That's one thing about Evergreen. Those hooks are not T. Well, TW fans, thanks for watching this week's vlog. Don't forget to like, share, and tag your friends for this gear giveaway it's brought to you by Evergreen and Daiwa. We'll see you next time. Balsa style bait, so it's silent. Uh, you know, it's for like these real calm conditions. It's the brand new Tatula CT Type R. Uh, the Type R has a machine grade aluminum spool. FA-115. We got a new color in this bait called Smash Shad. It has a purple back.